Hi everyone, I'm Shagun Agarwal and in this video, I'm going to tell you the importance of habits and the seven habits that can make us very successful in our lives. So let's get started. Habits shape our life much more than we realize. In fact, more than 40% of the decisions we take on an everyday basis are aren't decisions but actually driven by habits. Once an action becomes a norm, it turns into a habit and we get used to performing that. That's why it's important to create good habits in life because once it becomes a habit, we get used to doing it. So we automatically do it every single day, like brushing our teeth, like taking a bath and so on. First habit is normalize being weird. In this point, I'm going to narrate to you a story that I read in the book Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg, who is the COO of Facebook. She said, that once Mark Zuckerberg was addressing all the interns at Facebook and one of the interns at the end of the presentation went on to Mark and said that his presentation or public speaking skills are not up to the mark. And guess what? He was the one who converted that internship into a full-time position. Everyone thought that he's being weird at just being an intern and still reaching out to Mark by saying such a thing. But his weirdness got him the job, a full-time job at Facebook. Weirdness is what sets us apart, gets us hired. In this crowd, if we are not weird, we will never be noticed. And that is one habit that can set us apart from everyone else. The second habit is normalize making no as your default. If you're not saying a no to your non-priorities, then how will you say a yes to your priorities? In this respect, Steve Jobs once said that focus is not saying a yes to things. Focus is saying a no to the things that don't motivate you, that don't empower you, that don't take you forward towards your goals in life. So if you're doing something important on a Saturday night and a friend calls for a party, just say no. It's fine. That is something which you did not prioritize from the beginning. So it's okay to say a no. The third habit is writing down the best memories, the best pizza you had, the best presentation you gave. And once you write it down, it creates a permanent reference into your mind. Save the memory and one day you will see that that memory will save you. The fourth habit is normalize saying a goodbye to people. You don't own a loyalty to any friend, to your family member or to your partner. You don't own a loyalty to a person who steals energy and happiness away from you. Successful people believe in saying goodbye to things that don't empower them. The fifth habit is normalize deep work. Everyone knows that point of day where they have the maximum energy, be it morning, afternoon or evening. Identify your peak state of energy and allocate two to four hours just to do that particular activity which is high priority in your to-do list and allocate that state of energy, that high peak of energy to that high priority task. The sixth habit is normalize I don't know anything about it as an answer. If you don't know something in an interview, just say I don't know anything about it. If you feel that a book sucks, you don't have to finish it. Say a no to the book. Say a no to something that you don't enjoy or that doesn't take you forward. Saying I don't know anything about it is better than acting like you know something about it and then feeling like a fool at the end. The seventh habit is normalize making decisions without anyone's approval. You can take advice from other people but ultimately it's your life so you have to bear the consequences. Take advice from everyone but no one's approval for anything in your life. Habits are what shape us. Habits are what make us successful or unsuccessful in life. I hope you appreciate the seven habits that I talked about in this video. So it's very important to have good habits in life. And I hope you like these seven habits that I shared in this video. And if you did, please do share it with someone you care. Or if you feel that if you know someone in your community who could help by imbibing these habits in their everyday life. Thank you.